Well lads, what's the crack and welcome back to another new video on KTFG. Back again with another match day vlog that ever headed down. The athletic rounds we're starting out with watching the second half of the first intermediate final of the RMA Championship. That game uh, taking place between Kali Hanna and the Pierce Oaks. And then we're staying of course for the first senior semi-final which is taking place. What a game it is. A Lurgan Derby, Clannagale v Clannern. Two very good games there definitely. My predictions probably would be I'd say Kali Hanna should do enough to beat the Pierce Oaks. Now it's a tough one to call like in the Lurgan Derby. Obviously, you know, Clan Iron will be favourites with Connor Turbot, for example, Tiernan Kelly, Barry McCamish and a couple of other very good club players in there. But Clan Agate, of course, have been very good in the club championship. We've obviously got Stephen Campbell, who has always performed for them, and Shane McPartland, I've actually heard, has had a very good club championship with Clan Agale. So I'll tell you what, it's definitely going to be very interesting. However, I probably am going to say Clan Iron wins by three points in the end. Yeah, Cully Hanna and Clan Iron, I'm going to say both winning out in both both getting into their respective finals and well then that's all I need to say for now I'll see you all then down at the Athletic Greens We are then on the march to the stadium Floodlights over in the distance Jez, they've got some power in there Be pushing that car Excellent. Here we are then Obviously Cully Hanna on right now Cully Hanna lead by 3, 110 to 17 Halfway through the second half, it's a very good crowd here in the athletic rounds. It'll only increase for the second game. There's the two teams, Clannagan and Clanner, and going down now to the Kings rooms. Yeah, news is stepping over this one. Where's Dennis Stewart? The Jason Duffy. Well worked. All over here, Rogues are out, Cully Hanna went out, 115 to 110, and well, by five points, they're through to the intermediate final. They'll take on the winner of St Paul's Lurgan v Orcady. So, there's Clanner inside out now. Clannagale of course been out for a good wee while now. Ever second with Cully Hanno's game, Russell Lent, they've been out half an hour to throw in for the big game. Yeah. 20 minutes now to throw in. For Supi Campbell, big game for him today. Clannagale definitely will need him to step up. Clanna Gale back out now, less than 15 minutes to throw in. Clans Derby begins. First score of the game. It's definitely getting very right out. Connor Kirby getting them in the action.
missed that one. After 16 minutes, very low scoring, but Clanoran have the lead. Look at this here. Soupy stepping over this one for Clanagale. That's two each now. After 24 minutes, very, very low scoring. Half time here then. Very low score. Clanagale 2, Clanarn 4 at the break. Clanarn have been the better side definitely. Well, Clanagale have definitely looked very defensive. It's been a bit of an anti climax. Uh, could have been a lot better game, but I think it's turned out to be so far. And well, I do I still would expect Clanarn to win this game overall. But I'll tell you what, Clanagale definitely can cause an upset in my opinion. Second half begins. What a score! That's yeah. the 18-8 of Connor and they're running away with it, but don't ask me for the time. For some reason, I haven't put the time oh, in the second half. Of Second yellow, number 22 is off for Clannarm, is a red card. And how you all, maybe Clannarm want to run away with it. But that red card could very well change the course of this game. Scored already from three. That's the second one. Score by Sipi Combo. A four point game now. Sipi Combo's been brilliant for Conagail, carrying them at the moment. This far from over, two points in it now. Surely he doesn't do it again. Surely not. He's done it again. Through ball here. Through ball here. This is a little too long, taking kick out. Tough angle, but sitting there, Conor Giller shooting, you just never know. Another through ball here. Oh, 
mechanical. There he goes. Oh! What a score! Nine all now. It's very difficult to go. It's all over. It's finished. Clannagheel 9. Clanner 9. What a comeback by Clannagheel. Obviously, the, um, the red card had them out a lot, but I still, what a comeback. Sleepy Campbell, he was immaculate in that one. And well, can Clannagheel drive on in the extra time and win? I definitely think so. First half of extra time begins. Can I just remind patrons that vaping is not allowed in the stands? That's over. 10 9 to Clannagheel. Half in the best of time. Clannagheel out by one point. Tell you what, this next 10 minutes is crucial. Second half of the extra time begins. Tell you what, the staff are going with Tanya as well now. I think it might be another red card for Connor. And Supe can put Connor three points up here. If he scores this, surely the win is guaranteed. Got it. Yeah! Oh, no. She in the car list. Got in the car got it. It's a penalty here for Clanner. About four or five minutes remain of extra time. This will bring it back to a one point game. Connor Turbot, he's had a very good game. He's stepping up to take it. This is crucial. There's no penalties either. So a draw after extra time means a replay. Probably next week we will have to be put in place. Sleepy to put Clannagheel two points up again. Look at the passion. There's one minute of out of time. It's all over. Clannagheel are into the RMA final. What a game. So lads, there you go then, Clannagheel are through to the Armagh Championship Final 2023, knocking their big Lurgan rivals Clannagheel out after extra time. Now what started out as a pretty poor match, I mean the first half in my opinion was dreadful, 4-2 to Clannagheel was a half time, but I mean after uh, after the um, first half the game definitely needed to turn into a classic, you know, Clannagheel up be at 2, then they get the red card and Supi absolutely unfair, he was cooking there for Clannagheel carried them, Shane McPartland also had a big part to play and that victory as well for Clannagheel and in the end finishing 9-0, I mean there was a lot of drama in that game as well, plenty of big hits you know, a uh, red card, a black card in extra time that was, a penalty missed which then led to the goal less than 10 seconds later and overall like it was a very entertaining game definitely, I was very happy to see Clannagheel win because I thought like the brilliant comeback they did make from 8-2 down to draw it 9-9 at full time, I do think they definitely deserved the win um, after that brilliant fight back, and well they'll play the winner of either Cross, Glen or Madden then in the final in about two weeks time I'd say now, and I'll tell you what I definitely do think they could give either of them teams a good run for their money because let's not forget lads, in the group stages Clannagheel actually did end up drawing with Cross with Glenn so I tell you what, Clannagheel definitely could win championship, uh, I do think that Daphne will give Cross McLean a game and Madden a game, whoever wins that one 
And well then, overall, a very good game. Well done to Clannagh Gale. Clannagh and were pretty good in the, in the end. They, it was a very evenly matched game. But in the end, that red card really did kill you off. And Clannagh Gale in the end got their well-deserved victory. And they're 3 and of course, to the final. So that will end today's match day vlog. I hope you enjoy it. Remember to like, share and subscribe. And turn on notifications. And you go up and support the channel once again. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all once again in KTFG very, very soon.